I want to take a second and share a little add-on I did. I didn't get much footage of building these, but they're fairly simple. So as you can see, my setup here uses Acme threaded rods to raise and lower the sawmill head. These rods are about six feet long going from here all the way to the top. In hindsight, I probably could have made the mill about a foot shorter. There's really no necessary reason why the blade should have to go up equal to my width. So my width here is my max cut between here and here. When I extend it out, it's approximately 39 inches. So I made it so that from the bed to the blade is also 39 inches or 40 inches. Realizing now didn't have to do that. But anyway, so the rods are a little bit on the long side. What happened, I'll see if I can get a clip of this. This rod, when you're going up with the carriage, once you get to this point here where there's a long length, this rod would wobble and it would kind of get worse as you know it wobbled. This is only 5 8 thick. My quick solution was a piece of black locust, drilled a hole through it, cut a notch, hose clamp it in there. This gives just a little bit of support to the rod. It's barely touching, but it prevents it from swinging wildly. So now it's sported here and also up here. So with the addition of these two little blocks, if you could see this one in here and there, that fixed any wobble in my rod so I can actually go up at a fairly better rate now. So anybody's designing it this way, keep those little pointers in mind. Hopefully that helps. I will catch you on the next video.